What's your biggest fear, eh? show. <sighs> My god, even you have more integrity than this guy. <sighs> it's a mess in here. I'm doing research. Tonight we're doing the show on paranoia. <laughs> Who's your guest? Well, can't afford one. But we're getting the listeners to call in and they're going to tell us about their biggest fears. What's your biggest fear? What's your biggest fear? Um, being late. I gotta go. I'll, uh, I'll see you in the morning. Mister, come on. <laughs> oh, come on, bring it down. Come on. I'm an old man. I'm 30 years older than you. Come on. Uh. Hey. Hey, uh, mister, you think you could, uh, you think you could spare a dollar for some coffee? It's cold outside. I, I need some coffee, huh? Oh, come on. Come on. Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh, hey, thank you, mister. <laughs> You made an old man happy, yeah? Okay. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, mister. What's your biggest fear, huh? Steve, how's it going? Alright, not too bad. Let's get cracking. Alright. Okay, in five, four, three, we're on, Steve. Hello and good evening. You're talking with Steve. I'm your host. Tonight we're doing paranoia and fear. And we want you, the listeners, to give us a call here and tell us about yours. What's your biggest fear? What do you see when you shut the reading lamp off at night? What's your fate? We'll find out the answers to those when the callers give us a ring here at one 99 steve That's toll-free long distance. And if you're in the area, you can call 555-2256. That number is 555-2256 if you're in our area. We're going to take a quick break here, folks, but we will be right back, and we'll expect to hear all the scary, creepy, crawly, ghoul stories you guys have for us. And we're clear. What's going on, Steve? Look a little tired? I had to get more sleep. Did you watch the news last night? No, I uh, missed it. Some guy uh, drove his truck through a storefront downtown. Plowed over four people. 
Said he saw it in a Schwarzenegger flick. Well, it makes people do what they do. <laughs> Tomorrow night's show. Hey, Steve. Yeah. What's your biggest fear? Sorry to cut you off there, but other callers need to get through. Those of you who are just joining us, uh, this is Steve on the air, and we're talking about fears and paranoias and other, all those goodies. Uh, our next caller is Howard. Howard, you're on the air with Steve. Go ahead, please. Hi there, Steve. Hello, Howard. And uh, what's your biggest fear? Oh, well, I didn't call to talk about my fears, Steve. Oh, really? What did you call to talk about? I want to talk about your fears, Steve. My fears? Okay. What do you want to know about my fears, Howard? Why are you asking? Are you scared, Steve? No, I'm not afraid. What do you want to know? Well, actually, there's something that I want you to know, Steve. All right, Howard. I and the 16th of the city are listening to you right now, but... You're not going to cut me off, are you? Like you did that last caller, are you, Steve? Well, now that depends, Howard. Uh, there are other people who want to get on. Do and, you uh... consider yourself a, a solid kind of guy, Steve? Yes, I do, Howard. Uh, but I'm afraid we're going to have to cut you short. How about so... Joanna? Joanna solid? Is she a is she a worrier, Steve? Is she a is she a Who is this? Steve? Who is Who is this? She's a very pretty lady, isn't she, Steve? Yes, uh my wife is very pretty. You care a great deal for her, don't you? If this is a joke, Howard. This is not a funny nor a wise one. Now, who are you? I'm a lot of things, Steve. I'm what's lurking in the shadows when you turn off the reading lamp. I'm a man in a dark alley. I'm a product of a demented society. Perhaps... Perhaps I'm your fate. <laughs> I'm your biggest fear, Steve. Who the fuck is this? You've got a nice house, Steve. <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ.
Hello? Steve, you okay? Uh, I think so. Listen, I had the cops trace that number. He was screwing with you, man. There was a couple of kids calling from your neighborhood. The cops went down there and picked them up. You're not going to press charges, are you? Paranoia, delusions of malice. What influences us to believe that violence awaits us in a darkened corner or a lonely street in the midnight hour? What draws a man to kill another in the belief that it will somehow spare him injury? Why has pop culture embedded such notions into the social consciousness that well over 50% of the continent's population suffers from an often disabling fear of one or more aspects of everyday life? Many people believe that the media plays a large role in the depictions of popular society. A recent example would include the upcoming trial of favorite local media show host, Steve Forrester.